Welcome back to Good Day, where we're a local, fun, and positive, mm -hmm. and many local organizations are all about that as well. Yeah, absolutely. We are outside today yeah. enjoying and celebrating one of those local organizations. We have Fred LeFever and Earl Tabono Mack. Yes. Yeah, from the Buffalo Soldiers <laughs> are with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here and for bringing some sweet rides. Oh, not a problem. We love being on our bikes. We call them iron ponies. And when we go out and talk to the school kids, we always take the iron ponies uh, to honor the service of the original Buffalo Soldiers. And the kids love seeing the bikes. They love climbing up on them. Would too. Yeah. I love seeing them yeah, too. I, I like this a lot because I, I, I think that this would fit me. This is stable. your starter bike. Mm -hmm. Okay. A third wheel nice here. and yeah. stable. <laughs> uh, nice and stable for you. You don't have to sway yeah. back and forth or anything like that. Earl the, he, he, he rides life in a adventurous. You know. Yeah. <laughs> they they look Beautiful loud. Bikes. But uh, you guys are celebrating uh, something very special. Ten years, right? We're celebrating ten years. Earl actually started the club here in Toledo, our post ten years ago. He can tell you why. <laughs> yeah, so Earl tell us why. Why did why did you start the club ten years ago? Well, just to, to represent that great history of the original Buffalo Soldiers from 1866. Uh, and you'd be surprised at all the things that they did in this country and for other countries. All we fighting, all the way through the Vietnam War, protected this country, the first uh, Border Patrol, uh, folks, uh, national parks, the first park rangers, and uh, we can just go on and on. So you mentioned talking to kids. So I, we know that you are in the communities uh, helping to protect our communities as Absolutely. well. So talk a little bit about the work that you're doing here. Well, we, we, we focus on our children because we want to help change those attitudes at an early age. You'd be surprised, and Fred will tell you, of all the problems that these kids go through, especially in, in our gun violence program, when we talk to kids and how many have touched a gun, almost every hand raises, how many have shot a gun, a few hands raises, uh, and so forth and so on. They're very afraid of their community, so we talk to them about how to stay safe. We have a program for, for our elderly, uh, uh, our, 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 our program, What to Do in Disasters, where we come in and talk about how to prepare for a disaster, uh, what what they need in uh, you know in in a disaster, uh, and we give out prizes or door prizes. Uh, that also mimic that. Yeah. Our signature program with the kids is what to do when stopped by the police. It's a very dramatic presentation, especially for drivers and for the young passengers, so that they understand that both the police officer and they can get home safely if they just follow the steps that we give them. Our anti-bullying program ties in really well with this day of kindness. It's going to happen Sunday mm -hmm. downtown. I just had her on the air with me, and we talked about that, and we see real results from that when you go into the schools and talk to the kids about that. That's so wonderful. on Saturday, uh, the uh, 29th of July, we're going to celebrate 10 years. We're also celebrating the first anniversary of the state of Ohio actually having an official Buffalo Soldier Day. Governor okay. DeWine marked that for us. It's actually celebrated on the 28th, but our party is going to be on the 29th. And tickets are available. They can go online and get those at ToledoBuffaloSoldiers.org. What uh, can folks expect? It's a big party. Yeah, 10 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well ten, 10 years, we're going to talk about uh, about those things that, that we've done for 10 years. We'll, we'll have some of our kids there uh, that we interact with. We have Ramona Collins, uh, that's a singer. You know Ramona Collins. <laughs> we know her. Uh, she, we've had her on the show here before, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Wesley Reynoso, which is a, uh, a world-renowned pianist, and he's bringing in a group. Bringing a little jazz combo with him, yeah. Very We're going nice. to have a blast. And we'll be awarding a couple of scholarships. Uh, some of our collaborators in town, uh, Tom Lance and Toledo Memorial Park, and some of the other folks, Retro Wealth Management, have kicked in dollars so that we can give scholarships of $5,000 and $2,500 to some of these kids who, unlike me, have grade point averages of 4.5. <laughs> oh, my 4. goodness. 5. Yeah, I know. I don't know. You're pretty studious, Stephen. <laughs> That's a lot of AP classes. Yeah, yes. a lot of AP classes, not a 4.5. So it seems like the youth. That's really what uh, you guys are focusing on. And you mentioned uh, asking those young people, have they ever touched a gun? Mm -hmm. And so many are raising their head. That has to be sobering when you're talking to them about that. Oh, yeah. yes. And yeah. fair to tell you about the experience of a young young kid, I think he, he, he was 10 or 11 years old, that, that, that lost his sister uh, in, uh, in, a, in, in gunfire. She, she was in a car, if you remember, a 10-year-old girl, mm -hmm. or her, her, her brother was in a class with us, and Fred could tell you about One it. One of the things we do, the last thing we ask the kids is, what do you do when you hear a gunshot? A lot of kids will say, run. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong thing to do. Mm -hmm. You make yourself as small as possible. So the last thing we tell them is, if you're in a car, take your seatbelt off and hit the floor. Mm -hmm. We were done and this little guy, he was so small, mm. uh, just in tears. 
uh, came up and uh, wrapped his arms around my legs and um, said, I wish my sister had heard that message. And I didn't know who he was until mm-hmm. after he walked away. Mm-hmm. And the teacher told us then it was his sister who got shot in that car a couple of years ago yeah. when yeah. somebody just mm-hmm. fired her in the car. And oh. he said, I wish my sister oh, wow. had heard that message. So at that point, I knew we're getting through to these kids, yeah. it, okay? That kid for sure, and maybe the other 99 others that were in that class, so. So important work uh, uh, that you absolutely. all are doing, and we appreciate that. We want you to be able to celebrate with everybody yeah. in the community. Mm-hmm. So tell us again when and where the big party is. Saturday, July 29th at the Pinnacle. Starts at six o'clock. Tickets are available at ToledoBuffaloSoldiers.org. There's also a phone number on the website if you want to get them that way. Ramona Collins, Wesley Reynoso, scholarship <laughs> awards yeah. and a really good dinner because buffalo soldiers <laughs> like to eat <laughs> good stuff